Hey teachers, I'm going to teach you a quick game to play in your video chats with your kids. Um, it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy, and it even teaches probability. If you used to be a big Price is Right fan back in the day, like I was when I was a kid, um, it's just kind of off the Price is Right. So I call it the higher lower game. You need a deck of cards. I take out all of the jokers. And so um, it's, it's just really simply asking the kids if the next card is going to be higher or lower. So, um, and as far as the top cards go, of course, ace is the lowest, and then two, three, four, and then ten, and then a jack is higher than a ten, and a queen is higher, and then king is the highest. So I'll call on my first student. I just go alphabetically. And it is an eight, and I'll ask them if they think the next card's higher or lower. They'll say their guess. They'll say maybe lower. This one is not, so they only get one card. So I have them write down one point. I have my kids keep their own points. It's the honesty policy. So this is the next card. So I ask student number two, higher or lower? They might say lower. Oops, sorry. It is lower, so they get this card. Now they're playing with the four. Higher, lower, higher. Yep, it is higher. They get that one too. Higher, lower. We're going to go higher. No, it's lower. So this is the next card that my third student will play with. This kid gets three points. So I'll say player number two gets three points. And you can see you can keep going um, just like that. So my next student, I'm just going to try to find a card here real quick. Um, here, let's say this was my next card for my next student and they said higher and then the next card is actually a five and it ties. Um, so they only get that one card, so they get one point. So even though they didn't get anything right, they still get one point. And um, so you can just see it kind of teaches them about probability and we talk real quickly about um, you know, if you have a king, what's the probability of something being higher than that? Then, you know, there's absolutely no chance for that. Um, most likely it's it's going to be lower, but then there's a slim chance of um, it being another king and tying. So we go into we're out of cards or till everybody gets a turn or however everybody gets one turn or two turns or however you want to play it. You can reshuffle the deck whenever you get done. If you want to do like three rounds through all your kids, kind of make up your rules your own. I just kind of made it up on my own. I have a, one of those giant decks of cards like that are huge for in the classroom. So they love to play this during our free time. Um, but it's the perfect game for our video chats. So, hope you learned a new game that you can use with your kids this week.